Maggie's turn where this one's awake. Yeah. So deep. Hey, buddy. How are you doing? We had a really great day today working with uh, many of our partners, including Bristol County Agricultural High School um, and the class that's been raising the head started, uh, head starting the turtles uh, since last fall. Um, it's really fantastic to have students that are working on a project that's really making a difference in the field and to see them so excited about the project. Um, certainly the conservation benefit is going to be um, huge because we wouldn't be able to raise all these turtles on our own. Um, so in some sense they're really making the success of this project for us. Um, but I think one of the things that we're always looking at uh, in the Fish and Wildlife Service is trying to um, put forward as much information as we can and just make sure that um, information transfer and the excitement for these projects gets passed on um, to, to students that could be the future um, biologists and um, researchers that are working on these types of projects. The Blanding's turtle is a species that's pretty rare in New England and there's probably only three or so populations that have any large size to them, say 50 or more individuals. So the opportunity to actually create a, a new population here at the Aspect River National Wildlife Refuge kind of presented itself uh, when this refuge was established. It's got habitat that's good habitat for Blanding's turtles and it and it has a long-term management goal from the Fish and Wildlife Service and so we thought it was a real opportunity to take a proactive approach to Blanding's turtle conservation and try to establish an additional population here at this site as opposed to what seems we're always doing with conservation which is fighting to preserve what we have left. I think one of the other things that is really neat about this project is a perfect example of adaptive management. Kurt mentioned that we had released some translocated juveniles from the donor population here so we could learn what are the best places to release our hatchlings so that we're not waiting until 15, 20 years down the road to find out how successful we are. I've done work with the refuge uh, system for since about 1981 on Blanding's turtles in one capacity or another and most recently at the uh, from the donor site for since 1986. So we have a pretty good knowledge base of what the population status is there and what the population trends uh, have been uh, in part because of the head start or the uh, nest protection and some uh, level of head starting that we've done there. So we pre feel pretty confident that the donor population is healthy, secure, and isn't going to be impacted by uh, removal of a small uh, percentage of the hatchlings that were head starting for, for translocation to this site. This is the second year that the Natural Resource Management students at Bristol Aggie have been involved with the Blanding's Turtle Head Start program. And it's a great program for these kids. They're interested in careers in environmental science and conservation. This allows them to work on a real world project. It forces them to use math, computer, and writing skills in a vocational program while solving a real world conservation challenge. We got to learn so much about a different kind of animal that you don't, you don't normally see. Yeah, you got, we got to do things that a lot of other high schoolers, kids in general, wouldn't get to actually do. Like, how many kids coming out of a regular high school would get to be like, hey, we're from that? But one of the great things about the kids at Bristol Aggie, I think they're really enthusiastic. Um, they're always looking for ways to improve um, their methods. They're always looking for, for ways to really try to increase the size of the turtles to make their diet healthier and, and help to bulk them up. So um, I, I just think it, it's great to have kids who are so enthusiastic about it. And, you know, it gives them all this real world experience that they wouldn't, wouldn't otherwise get to see maybe until college or later on. Oh, there it is. Yeah, they want to know what they're going to do. Look at it, there it is. Is he coming up? He's yeah. stuck. Oh, uh, yeah. It's been really wonderful working with so many partners that have the expertise, so Oxbow Associates and University of Georgia and the Savannah River Ecology Laboratory and um, Bristol County High School has been um, really big players in this project. It is really interesting, like, you can do so much with them, and it does require a lot of work, but in the end, it's, it's totally yeah, it's amazing it's definitely to watch worth it. Exactly, it's all about conservation.